In a previous video, I introduced a powerful tool called 3MVAS, designed to enhance your understanding of how users engage with your data visualizations. If you missed that, make sure to catch up by checking it out here. Today, I'm excited to showcase the next stage, leveraging the insights from VAS to fine-tune your reporting and optimize the visual elements on the report page. Let's get started! Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. By doing so, you won't miss any of my Power BI videos. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. As a quick recap, we begin with this specific report page layout containing multiple data visualization elements. After uploading it to VES, we gained valuable insights from the user's glance heat map shown here. Our goal today is to guarantee that when our colleagues access the report, their attention is drawn to the key performance indicators KPIs, positioned at the top right corner. This ensures they quickly grasp whether their business segment is growing or eroding in comparison to the previous period. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Before adjusting the data within Power BI for the report itself, I work on the background image first. In most cases, I use Canva to start the report's design, but you can use Figma, Photoshop or PowerPoint as well. Use whichever option suits you the best. Let me add the heat map result from Bass to the bottom of the screen, so it will be easier to follow along. Focusing only on the background, a few quick adjustments can be made. To begin, let's eliminate the gradient blue background. While it's essential to feature our company, Bilingual Analytics logo on the page, it doesn't necessarily need to dominate. Let's relocate it to the bottom right corner. Initially, there was an idea to break up the bottom and the top section of the page with a black element. However, I'm going to remove those. With these changes, we opened up space on the page, making it feel a bit more spacious. Let's shift the title, Sales Report, a bit to the left for better alignment among the elements. Additionally, I'll add the background element there and switch the font color to black. Now, for a slightly dramatic yet illustrative step, we will add another background element to the top right corner to house our KPIs, this time in yellow. These tweaks will transition our layout from its current state to the new, or I should rather call it the final design. Once these adjustments are done, let's add this updated background into our report page within Power BI Desktop. Really quickly, I'm also going to change the font color to black on the KPIs. Once these steps are finalized, capture a screenshot and proceed to upload to VAS. It's great to see that the adjustments we've made are directing users' attention towards the two KPIs even if they still glance at other elements. Progress with just a few tweaks to the background is a good beginning. Analyzing both the heatmap and hotspots feature, it's clear that the most noticeable area, currently, is the sales by month column chart with the rolling averages. Following that, both the sales growth and the map reflects a similar probability of engagement from report consumers. Let's try to reduce their noticeability. Back to Power BI Desktop. I'll begin with the monthly sales trend visual and implement two adjustments. Firstly, I'll adjust the transparency of the columns to 50%. Secondly, I remove the markers from the rolling average lines. I believe we haven't compromised functionality with these adjustments. The main goal of this visualization is to track the movement of the rolling averages or trend lines month to month. It remains visible and in my opinion, the visual now appears less cluttered. When looking at the map, I start by removing the country field from the legend. This action will reduce the emphasis on coloring within the visual. Additionally, I replace the country let long information with continent details. At this higher level overview, displaying a multitude of countries might not directly influence business decision making. Hence, showcasing sales volume by continent should be a good alternative. Before I make adjustments to the two visuals on the top, Let's analyze the current design in VES again. By simply modifying coloring options and transparency, we've achieved significant changes. 
Reviewing the heat map and hotspots now shows a higher likelihood that our report users will focus on the top right section where we've positioned our KPIs. Moreover, this is the first report page design where the KPIs are top right corner align with the gaze sequence. This suggests that within the initial 3 to 5 seconds, it's highly probable that our colleagues will direct their attention to them. Are you excited to see this? In this video, I asked the question of who is helping us report creators in designing these data-driven reports. Here is your answer. This tool can aid us in designing more impactful report pages. Let's return to Power BI since there are still some changes we have to make. Based on the result, it's clear that the two charts at the top remain the most prominent element to redirect users' initial attention towards the KPIs while ensuring these charts remain visible and noticeable Let's explore a strategy that doesn't involve tweaking transparency. Let's experiment with coloring option. Instead of using yellow and black combinations, let's transition to light and dark gray. Why gray, you might ask. Gray aligns with the International Business Communication Standards, IBCS, and is universally accepted. It's an optimal choice for improving the accessibility of your report design. I've added a link to the IBCS standards to the description box below. With these adjustments done, let's capture a final screenshot and upload it to VAS for analysis. Wow, what a transformation. The impact is significant. Those KPIs now stand out significantly. The hotspots feature reveals that approximately 61% of our report consumers we had glance over the KPIs within the initial 3 to 5 seconds upon logging in. Moreover, the gaze sequence results are fantastic. Users will first engage with the title, then shift their focus to the sales growth by months, visualization, and subsequently explore the KPIs at the top right corner. This outcome truly showcases the effectiveness of these design modifications in directing users' attention. Well, I reckon this exercise was truly amazing on tweaking the report design to guide our report consumers focus towards essential information. By doing that, we enhanced accessibility of the report, accelerated understanding of the KPIs, and increased the likelihood of usage. When users quickly grasp the core story presented in a report, they tend to dig deeper into exploring other elements. It's all about creating a narrative through data visualization. Please note, this was a demo to showcase how minor adjustments can significantly alter how colleagues perceive and comprehend data visualization on a report page. In my day job, I would likely further fine-tune the report layout and ensure the information aligns with user needs. It's an incredible approach to gauge if your report captivates interest and delivers impact. Now, I would like to hear it from you. What are your thoughts on this software? Are you considering giving it a try? Are you prepared to invest in enhancing the accessibility of your report? If your answer is yes to both, remember to utilize the coupon code VESBA2024. This code will give you 5 additional analyses valid for 30 days from the date of code redemption. The code expires on the 31st of March 2024, so make sure to take advantage of it soon. Since you stay till the end, I'm confident you found value in this video. If that's the case, Please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to ask for more of my tutorials like the ones above me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.